Hey everyone, take a look at this 2023 Ford Raptor F-150. This is, of course, the ultimate off-road machine, Baja inspired and in agate black. Let's take a look at all the awesome upgrades this one has. So the Raptor hood does look extra special on this and comes with a high output 3.5 liter twin turbo under the hood, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, 450 horsepower. This gets you where you're going. You may notice that it does have these clearance lights and that is because it is extra wide. The Raptor is offset a little bit wider than a regular F-150, so DOT demands those clearance lights, and they do look pretty cool. You also have these fully automatic set it and forget it LED headlights, which can move up and down side to side and have auto high beams, and then these rigid fog lamps to go with those light in the way on the trail. You've got front park sensors on the front bumper to go with an around view camera. There's a camera in the front, the back, and under both mirrors, and that front camera can even wash itself off. You do have that bold Ford in the front grill letting you know that it is a Raptor as that's a signature Raptor grill. And the vehicle has a forward collision system with pedestrian detection. So if somebody pulls out in front of you last minute, you don't have time to put on the brakes, it'll do that for you. Now these Ford fenders do look amazing and they're functional. Uh, they've got functional air induction and they're extra wide again, protecting the sides of the vehicle. The wheels on this one have been upgraded. These are the 17 inch bead locking aluminum alloy smoke gray uh, wheels. And they're wrapped in my favorite tire, the BF Goodrich Terrain KO2, which are rated for both summer and winter. You can see some snow and ice on the ground and they handle that awesome. They are snowflake rated. The suspension on this is fully upgraded. Uh, you have all kinds of upgrades underneath for uh, extra awesome travel, especially if you're doing some off-roading and skid plates, hard skid plates underneath, protecting everything underneath as well. You've got some mud flaps installed, and then we have our mirrors, which are color matched. They're a power folding heated memory mirror with a blind spot right here that lights up uh, indicator. And this is an auto dimming mirror on there as well. To get in or out of this vehicle, you can just unlock it with the code right now, or you can put your hand inside the door handle. It'll sense the heat from your hands and unlock. Press this button right here to lock it. And when you do, those mirrors power fold in, which look kind of nice, a little touch of luxury. The off-road running boards do look awesome. You see the word Raptor right in there, and they let the mud and snow fall right through the grates. They are also coated, so you don't get any type of rusting of that kind of stuff on them. Um, you can get inside the vehicle with this key fob as well with unlock, lock, remote start, power lift, power tailgate, or alarm. Or you can download the Ford Pass app and do that anywhere in the world for free from your smartphone. Thank you, Ford. Tinted windows off the back look great. And when we open this up, you get your first look at this gorgeous interior. Uh, love the accents that have been done on the Raptor. The inside, the seating has all been accented. Now these seats are leather, nice quality leather, and they're heated. And you can see the heat controls back here as well as a 12 volt uh, power inversion for 400 watts, as well as USB-C inputs. Look up top and you'll see the upgraded huge panoramic sunroof with power shade, uh, letting in all kinds of natural light. Now this is a five and a half foot box, making it quite easy to park and even easier to turn. Another one of those marker lights there. And take a look at that Raptor suspension back there, uh, peeking out from us with shock absorbers and extra alarm trail arms really make Baja style driving possible. Dual exhaust off the back looks great. And this has selectable exhaust notes, which is really nice. You see the Ford Raptor moniker on the tailgate and the back bumper has been done in that gray. You also have some giant tow hooks to tow your friends away if you need to. And if we press this button from our key fob, it does have the power tailgate upgrade. The box is also upgraded with the spray and liner tough bed from Ford. And then you do have tie downs in the box as well as LED box lighting and the upgraded 2000 watt pro power. So this inverted power supply is an onboard generator and you've got two plugs right there, 20 amp breakers on that. That is some great power. And if you wanna use that power, maybe you're doing some working in the back of the vehicle, you have the work surface here, which does have a place to put screws, your pens, phone for YouTube videos, measuring device, as well as C channel clamp holders on both sides of the tailgate step. Speaking of the tailgate step, that just comes down nice and easy to get in and out of the vehicle. These are LED style tail lamps and you have strap holders on either side of the tailgate, which double as a bottle cap opener from the bottom. Press this button twice again and our tailgate comes back up. Coming to the front of the vehicle, we're gonna open up this driver's door and I always like to show the capacity stickers and you'll see that right there. 
And then on the driver's door itself, we do have memory settings, power locks, our power folding mirrors and power windows. Has an 18 speaker Bang & Olsen Unleashed stereo system. We'll show you that in a moment. And when you get in, it says Ford Performance, which is really nice and you know that it's a Raptor Performance truck. All weather mats inside. Some really nice touches on the dash. Raptor is the only one with the red. That's how you know you have a Raptor. And then some controls here. So these are lights underneath your mirrors. This is to turn on and off the generator, your power tailgate, set it and forget it headlights, fog lights, rear cargo lamp, dimmer switches for the inside, emergency brake and power adjustable pedals. Power tilt and telescopic steering. And then you have these super comfortable Full captain seats, 10-way adjustable, heated and ventilated Raptor seats. Love that the Raptor's been put in there. The leather is super soft on that as well. And then you even have speakers in the headrests. That's thanks to, again, that 18-speaker Bang & Olsen Unleashed system. You'll see speakers up top. You'll see speakers in the A-pillars and in the corners and in the center channel. There's a sub in the back. Great sound system. As we climb inside, we're going to go ahead and push this push button start built Ford tough is going to come up on the screen and you can see the gauge cluster is all digital this does look different than a regular f-150 including the raptor style truck in the display and then you can change this display to a bunch of other customizable features and it can display the speed limit signs as you drive by them love that feature on the steering wheel itself, you see the nice touch of red right at the top as all Raptors are known for and Raptor at the bottom. It does have the cruise control, uh, which is adaptive and intelligent. That means that it can slow you down with the vehicle in front of you or even change with the speed limits as you go by them. Has a semi-autonomous lane centering driving system, which means it can drive itself using the lines on the road, even steer around corners. Then you have the R, which is going to bring us into some Raptor settings. You can go into your steering, suspension, exhaust settings, uh, engine auto off, um, and just take a look at your drive modes from there if you'd like. You have volume controls, voice recognition on this side, menus for that screen. And then again, if we really want to quickly get into some controls, we can get into steering, suspension, exhaust. So in steering, when I press this button, you can see we can go from normal, comfort, sport, uh, I can't go to Baja mode, which is the furthest one until I put it in a Baja setting as it is made for just off-roading. They don't make it accessible very easily. They don't want you driving around like that on the pavement. And then you do have the suspension settings. Again, when we press that button, we can go from normal to sport to off-road. So the suspension can be accessed at any time. And then the exhaust settings. And again, when we press this, we can go, uh, right now we're in normal. We can go to sport, we can go to Baja, or we can go to quiet. And when you do put those on, I don't know if you just can hear that, super quiet, and if we were to go to sport, and then we rev it up, and it sounds really nice. Uh, this leather wrapped steering wheel is heated, feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning. You do have some paddle shifters behind the steering wheel if you wanna shift through those 10 speed transmission. Up top, nice center channel, place to put things, huge 12 inch screen display, some buttons up top, engine auto off, that around view camera system, where we can really see all over and have a ton of different views to choose from, including an auxiliary camera, uh, do like that. And we do have a bed camera option, which is nice. Then if you want to navigate to a parking lot, it can do that for you. We've got four-way flashers, we've got traction control and trail control. What's trail control? Well, we can set the cruise control at a very slow uh, rate if we want, or use one pedal drive where we're just using the gas to basically speed us up and let go and it slows us down like we're putting our foot on the brake. Then in this big 12 inch display, in the features, some really fun features, trail turn assist, basically I call it donut mode, where it'll let you turn real tight, which is really nice. Uh, we have zone lighting, where we can turn the entire exterior of the vehicle into a flashlight using the LED lights all over, and you can pick which side you want lit up or do them all. And then what I love on this as well is the new Pro Power on board, which is a 2000 watt generator. It's 400 watts until we hit the generator mode. And then it's gonna bump it up to 2000 watts and it shows you how much power draw you're getting. Really cool. We also have a hard base navigation system, which is connected to Ford for real-time traffic update and weather update, which is really nice. Um, this does have the Sync 4 with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This can become your smartphone, your apps from your phone, like your, your podcasts, your maps, uh, your audiobooks, all that kind of stuff come up here. If you prefer to use the maps on your phone, it just 
puts it up there and makes it look really nice. As we come down below, you'll see volume controls for that stereo, dual climate control, my side, my passenger side, our heated steering wheel, heated seats and ventilated seats there with fan switch. Nice drawer here, open this up and you've got a wireless charger, USB and USB-C input. Our 10 speed automatic transmission shifter with again a manual mode. So if you press that, that's how you get into the paddle shift mode. And then if we want this out of the way, we just press that and it goes down. Cup holders, nice big center console. Open this up, we've got an upper and a lower section. A couple more USB, USB-C outlets. And then if we want to, you can just open this up and you have a work surface, place to do things from, have a snack, whatever you'd like to do from there, which is great. Push this back up. And you have on this side pro trailer backup assist and trailer tow brakes. It is made to be able to tow. And then you do have your four wheel drive settings including two high, four high, four low, and my favorite, set it and forget it, four automatic. Locking rear differential with drive modes. If we turn this dial, you'll see some different drive modes. We can go over to off-road, we can go to Baja, or we can go to rock crawl. So those last two are extreme off-road modes. Or we can go the other direction, go to sport, go to tow haul, or just slippery mode, which is really nice. This vehicle does have a lot of torque and it's nice if it puts it into slippery for the ice and snow, you don't spin as much. Then you do have 12 volt power supply on this side. One of those 20 amp breaker, 400 watt power supplies on this side too, which is really nice. Uh, sorry, not 400 watt, 20 amp. Uh, and then upper and lower glove boxes, press this button to open the top one. Come up top and you have an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror. We've got some map lights, controls for our power sunroof and power shades. Uh, our rear slider control for the back window. Speaking of shades, you put your sunglasses in here and then auxiliary switches to hook up any extras you want. Last but not least, we've got garage door openers up on the sun visor. That is this beautiful 2023 Ford Raptor. Thank you very much for taking a look at this video with me. Do me a huge favor and click subscribe to this channel. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and click that bell icon. You'll be notified every time I make a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks everyone.